Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, there is a video that has emerged online where a grandmother in Mulanga County is exposing William Samoy Ruto for failing to honor his promise to her. Ruto, according to what she's saying, is that he promised her to give her two cows. In fact, he's saying two pregnant cows. <laughs> so the grandmother has been waiting from that time when we had the campaign, Ruto became the president, and now it is one year. Still, the cows have not been delivered. So she's asking William Samoy Ruto to fulfill his promise of two pregnant cows. So this confirms what we have been talking about here, that this Kenya Kwanza government, it is just a government of promises. I wonder if this grandmother is well aware of what is happening, but she might be aware. And that's why she's coming out to make noise. In as much as she's trying to use a diplomatic language, the truth remains that she's telling people that Ruto has failed to fulfill his promise. Amedanganya paka na washosho. Na inabakia tukua hot air. Listen to us shortly then from where we're going to continue with this discussion. President Ruto, you did told me you are going to me to give me two pregnant cows. One with a child and one being pregnant. But the cows have never reached to me, but you did get, I, I am still waiting because the ones who knows about the cows, they are still on the way, because I don't know where they are still on the way bringing the cows to me, but then what I know, they, it might be they will bring to me, but I want you to know the cows didn't reach to Soso Agekadu or Soso Ruto, but I wanted the cows to reach to me because although I am a husband, for this time, the, if the cows did come to me, I am, I can be very, even I can't use something else. Now we are continuing with this panel discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel subscribers. Master. Thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, if there is anyone who is still hopeful that William Ruto is going to fulfill his promises, then that person can be compared to Yule Mutu Ambaye Anangojea Meli Katika Uwanja Wandeke. Ninadra, imeadimika, na itawai tokezea. Utangoja sana. Ruto's promises were hot air. He lied live on camera in public to the people. A lot of promises. But I wonder how people could believe in most of his promises when it was very clear you can see with naked eyes that there are things he's talking about, but fulfilling these things, it's very hard. Then the character of the person and the team that was backing him. The history we know about these people. For you to believe, sijui bila watu wa Mount Kenya walikuwa naamini hiyo mambo alikuwa anasema. I thought walikuwa anampigia kura juu ya pesa ama hivyo tu mambo ya pesa, handouts. But trusting that he has said it, this is going to fulfill it. I don't know how they trusted that. Na sasa bado mama anangojea ngombe. Aliwaambiwa ngombe mbili wa grade wa maziwa. Ilikuwa tu ngombe kwa delivered maybe in 6 months time vile huwa anasema or in 3 months time ikwe deliver it, it deliver a calf and uh, the grandma will have milk. From there atakuwa na biashara tu kazi ni kununua nepe grass na hiyo nepe grass itatoka kwa hii maziwa it was very soft. <laughs> eh? 
ilionekana kuwa nzuri sana very attractive Ruto is very seductive the language that he uses to whip the emotion of the people so to remain pessimistic but then when it comes to delivery this is the reality sasa angalia kwa vitu zote zile ali promise hazijawahi kutokezea the only thing that i saw william ruto fulfilling it was what gashagu asked for during a burial service sijui ilikuwa ya ndugu yake ama nani kule nyeri he told william ruto if he become the president the first thing he should do is to open the um in a trunk or up ile state lodge ya nini sagana state lodge open the doors of sagana state lodge allow people to come in to greet you cook rice and uh, uh, beef so that people will come and eat and go home indeed he fulfilled that tuliona akienda kwa state lodge ile ya sagana alifungua milango wakapika michele na nyama usiku mzima mchana kutwa watu wakakula nyama na michele wakaenda kwao that is the only thing he has honored to the people of mount kenya region the rest is hot air kama huko kula kitu ya ruto wakati wa campaign na hata habari ifike huyu nyanya forget forget or make too much noise kama ni hiyo promise so that now he will be ashamed kama if indeed he can then he will deliver it but hoping anything good from this government wewe inaweza kuwa wewe ni mgonjwa wa mawazo wa fikra lazima uende hospitali upimwe haiwezekani once you see someone starting to launch the already existing project that has been serving people for more than 2 3 years then you should understand there is something wrong and from there start thinking differently and once you forget that then you become someone who who look like sick person in the head wakati tuliona ruta ameenda mount kenya ameanza ku launch miradi ya uhuru kenya tukajua bas kwisha he don't have any project he don't have any plan He's not going to initiate any project. He is putting fake budget in projects. So there is nothing like new project is going to initiate. Alafu unangojea ngombe. Wait for another 5 years. See? Is it 4 years now remaining? No no miaka ingine mbili mbele tutaanza serious politics. Political season will be back in 2 years time. And they will be back to start lying to you na ashaanza hata mapema lakini kibaki mwaka kama moja kwa election ataanza kumwaga pesa nyingine handouts ile waliiba wataanza kuleta tena so huyu nyanya ngoje miaka nyingine mbili ruto akuje ampe uongo wengine alafu pia anunue hiyo uongo amrudishie kura tena na wajipanga kudanganya miaka nyingine kama pesa zile za wazee mpaka saa hizi zinasumbua <laughs> Mama wa mtu naona wakilia kwamba tu always nunua dawa. Hizo ndio pesa walikuwa nunua dawa. Meaning we are losing our our old people in this country. We are losing them. Mm? Wazee always nunua dawa. Sababu hiyo ndio pesa walikuwa nategemea kununua dawa, chakula. But they sound like everything is okay. Sasa kama hiyo haijafika itakuwa ya ngombe. Itakuwa ya ngombe. The promises were many but they won't be fulfilled. And maybe Mount Kenya is still blind. I think it is not all of them. We still have good people in Mount Kenya. We know Raila got more than a million plus votes. <laughs> Those are people who believed in the Atmio ideology. And they're still there. But we have the other group that still hold yani kuamini kwa mambo ya Ruto ni sawa na kupe ambaye amekwamilia kwa ngozi ya ngombe ambaye amekufa 
Hiyo ngozi washachuna imetoka kwa mnyama na kupe bado amekwamilia. Utakufia hapo. People of Mount Kenya region if you are not careful, mtakufia hapo kwa ruto, mkingojea. Mtakufia hapo, biashara yenu itakufa, mali yenu itakufa. And you rather realize when Ruto is maybe in office for the second time. And that time, it will be the most painful time because he will not be seeking for any re-election. Atakuwa naenda nyumbani. Wewe atakuwa na nafasi ingine ya kutafuta bila tafanya kazi eti apigiwe kura tena. Kama saizi ya wezi fikiria kuhusu mwana inji wa kawaida na anahaja ya kupigiwa kura siku ingine. What about kwa bahati mbaya arudi hapo What will happen What will happen Sisi wote tutakuwa tuko kwa shida kubwa Kwa hivyo wana ambao wanazidi kuamini katika uongozi wa Ruto mmetoka kwa shida kubwa Na haya ndio sasa matokeo ya huo uongozi False promises lies and you continue to trust